Have you ever been searching for the right answer, but you've been searching in the wrong place? So because you were searching in the wrong place, you couldn't find the right answer to the questions that you had? Solomon's theme in the book of Ecclesiastes is about searching for and trying to find the meaning of life. And the problem is, often he was searching in the wrong place to find the answer, and consequently, he couldn't find the answer. The entirety, almost, of chapter 2 is sort of a, I guess, a rant by Solomon about how he was so disgusted with things and all was meaningless and vanity and futile because he couldn't find the answers that he wanted. Well, he was looking for meaning in life and for life in three W's, wealth, work, and wisdom. But the problem was he was looking for the meaning in life with all of those from a worldly standpoint. Remember several times he uses the phrase under the sun, talking about the things that man has done. And so he's trying to find the answer to life with man's answers, and the answer is not found there. Well, when you get to the end of chapter two, there's a little bit of a, a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of light, where he's beginning to have a realization because all of these things, the, the work, the wealth, the wisdom under the sun, that they don't, they don't work. He begins to realize there's someone else that maybe can provide the answer. And in chapter two, at verse 24, he says this, nothing is better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that his soul should enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw was from the hand of God. For who can eat or who can have more enjoyment than I? You see, Solomon realized how tremendously blessed that he was and how that he was not responsible for those blessings. The wealth, the wisdom, all the great things that he had accomplished, those came from God. And he said that I need to enjoy the things that I have now and not be worrying about who's gonna have them after me. I need to enjoy what I have now because as he says, it's from the hand of God. He makes a similar statement in chapter three, verse 12, when he says, I know that nothing is better than for uh, them to rejoice and to do good in their lives, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor, it is the gift of God. Look at what you have, look at what God has blessed you with, and realize it's from God. It's his gift, it's from his hand. It's not meaningless, it's not futile, it's not an empty life, it's a life given from the hand of God.